Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is L.A. Noir. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's jump in and see where we go from here, shall we? All right, let's get back out of this questionable camp. I think my partner actually shot somebody inside of there, which is probably a bad thing. Galloway, hurry up. I'm gonna leave you here. The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession. We can charge the bump with murder. Yeah, I mean, not to be too philosophical, but they don't always need a motive. Sometimes opportunity is just all they need. Some people are just kind of broken in the head. Oh, that's a big drop. It's very aggressive music there. We're going this way. I mean, do we know which? Is he in room you one? You've made it if you got that he Ackerman, is. You were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? I mean, it's not a matter of feeling sorry it's an 85 pound tank of fuel on your back while you're actively being shot at like why did you kill mrs terrelson i have no recollection of the people i have killed well yeah you are obviously lying about that because i mean just look flicking your eyes around like you're obviously lying, dude. Also, you kept Are you the weapon. That you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope. I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. I mean, I literally have the proof. We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. He doing the real smug face. I don't have hard evidence against that to call it a lie, I don't think. But I can definitely doubt it. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. So he's actually this... Huh. Interesting. So is he actually a serial killer and responsible for... All of the other Where were you around murders? 2 a.m. last night? At the camp. Hmm. No, because you have her purse. Yeah, no. I'm going to say that's a lie because you were seen during you've got the, day. the purse. We have a witness. We have evidence. Come clean with me, Ackerman, and I'll see what I can do for you. I despise your pity. 
You have nothing that links me to this woman. Well, see, now that's where you're wrong, because I actually do. We have you cold, Ackerman. Her purse and the ballroom ticket were in your lean to. Tell us why you did it. I kill because people need killing. It's what I was trained to do. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. down on his luck I can abide but a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society I cannot stomach maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need I've spoken to the chief and the mayor and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line a grand day that will be gentlemen and the grand what? results you have brought me you two are fast becoming my finest crusaders To remove the godless. What does that mean? An early visit to the hobo camp might have offered a lead, but good luck finding a coherent witness. Okay. Interesting. Ve yeah, vehicular damage, almost $700. Plus a hundred dollars of city damage. Uh, I'll own it. That was my bad. That was my bad. All right. So what? Oh yeah. No, we've got plenty of time. We're going into the next case. We're getting the next case started up here, friends. Right now. Ooh, we're getting a cutscene. Is it that jazz club again? And now my I will say, places don't make you feel like that anymore. So Phelps just decided to go there on his own. Interesting. Studio Secretary Murder. Ooh. Outside of a train yard. Um, that lady is clearly not sober. Walking along. Oh. We got a guy. Gray hat. Lug, eye, lug wrench in the hand. Uh, jeans. Jacket. Hmm. Of course we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Councillor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hot a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Dear Muller. Press the pawn broker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white man. Right, Skipper. Hmm. So first, we need to hit up the pawnbroker. I guess. Another body. And Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. When exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? Mouthpiece court strips off me at the grand jury. Case is thrown out. That was nope. 
That's not an exit. I want to make comments. You know you make it. This is the exit. All right, let's see here. Where do we want to go? All right, he did say to go to the pawnbroker first, so I think we're going to go there first. Somebody's pawning off jewelry. You've got to admit, this is looking hot. Anyone could pawn a ring. Oh! Help! <clears throat> if you take it along with all of the other indicators, Cole, Hugo Moller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have figured the wrong guy before. He ran for God's sake. And he always maintained he was set up. KGPL to all units. Citizen reports man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Unit to handle code 2. Identify. Okay, let's go deal with the guy with the gun real fast. No, it really wasn't actually. Screw it. Throw the sirens on. Might as well. We got a long ways to go and short time to get there. Potentially. I'm so confused by what the captain was talking about. Oh. Sending in men to get rid of the godless. Is he talking about the homeless people? It's a little weird to refer to them as godless. But then again, the captain's a little out there anyways, so... I guess I shouldn't be all that surprised that he'd be a little weird in that regard, too, right? Right, yeah, I think we're going to use the fast travel option going in the other direction. Because this is a really long ways away, apparently. That's the downside to not knowing the city, is you really don't know where these other crimes are happening at. And, like, you choose to go, and it's, like, super far away. Uh, okay, that's straight up murder. Give it up, LAPD. Hurry, you can still catch him. Come on, Phelps, jump it. Yeah, I see where he is. Headshot. Once again, was hoping not to do that. Case notes. Tired of playing show, chauffeur to Galloway. A part of a group of 100 who will work. girls brought from Frankfurt will be taught the rayon spinning process and are under contract for two years. During which time, they're How can I help? 
help you boys. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. this mark here maker's mark usually traceable that one came from hartfield's jewelry down on broadway thanks for the tip hmm okay does this okay. mark mean anything 22 karat gold oh, gives you an idea of the quality Did this have anything else? No? Okay. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? He goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? I'm not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Hmm. So what am I supposed to do with it now? Okay. I'm just supposed to go to the rail yard now. Right? Yep. Okay. In that case, let's go to the rail yard. Troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The perp is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine. The man who carried these with the story may have also killed Dear Drummond. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Any central unit, four five nine suspects to be taken into custody at the trolley station on Lucas Avenue. Stand by for further. Mm, no, that's not gonna be a code three. I've heard there's supposed to be some way to do like free room where you just answer all the calls. That could be kind of fun to do but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to focus on the case instead. So the poem was written by Shelley. Mm, I think I made a wrong turn here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Just a little tap. You're fine. Not even enough to trade paint. How do I get over there? Screw this. We're going off road. Yep.
There we go. We'll get there eventually. Might not be the most legal way. Follow me. We should keep this development with the ring under a hat. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, though. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. Okay, still has her clothing on. I see a yeah. blood stain. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Okay. What have we got here? Handbag. Whoa, hello. Uh, from St. David Street in Connecticut. Dear Evelyn, I hope this letter finds you in a better way than when we last parted. Better words were exchanged. You had taken too much liquor. Both know what that makes you become. But I'm not writing to harass and accuse. I'm writing to apologize. I was heartbroken seeing what had become of my little girl and what she is doing to herself. You are destroying your body and your soul with liquor, Evelyn, and it is harder for me to watch than you can imagine. But only God Almighty above us has the right to judge, so I beg your forgiveness. I've been in contact with a sanitarium here in Connecticut on your behalf. Say your condition is an illness, Evelyn, and that it can be beaten. Wait, what? Treated, sorry. Trying to get her to come home. You only have to check yourself in. It will not. Okay, so the letter is... Only half there. Keystone Go Company. Go and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio Lot closed back in 41. Oh. Yeah, that is a little awkward. All right, so what bar is she a regular at? Someone at Mensch's will remember her. Yeah. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. Okay. Two large suitcase, small suitcase, bedroll, pillow, plain bed sheet, three photo frames, hairbrush, bowling pen, statuette, wake up, clothes. That sounds like a packing list. More than a shopping list. Nothing over there. Nothing over here. Anything? Ooh, blood splatter. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. Yeah, and had a pretty darn good amount of force behind it, too. All right, Doc, what have we got? What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Hmm. Oh, hello. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Yeah. Okay. 
What about this one? Nope, nothing missing on that hand. Whole body's pretty badly discolored, though. Did she get hit by a train? Oh. Is there anything on the... I guess there's nothing on the victim's clothing. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. The autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Hmm. Why is that, though? Alright. What? This was the guy that found the body? Dr. Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Hmm. Interesting. Isn't that the same type that was used on one of the other no. victims? I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. What's with the sudden Superman pose? Nasty necrophiliac. And yet, I think he's telling the truth. He's maintaining eye contact. There's no weird facial expressions. There's no twitches. There's no, like, obvious gulping. Yeah, I think he might actually be telling the truth. Did you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick in her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. See, now he's giving me the shifty eye. And the smug look. Yeah, bullshit. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Fly. You get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. I gotta say it, I don't blame Rusty for that one. Normally, I'm not okay with that kind of stuff, but in that situation, yeah, whatever, dude. Swing away. Detective Phelps Swing away. Homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Okay, okay, okay. Good deal, good deal. Uh, is there anybody else to talk to here? Come well, on, this guy over here. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Tell me to look at it. What is this? Maybe. Hmm. Nice 
day, gentlemen. No, it's just trash, isn't it? This isn't yeah. what we're looking for. Hmm. Minch's Bar, Levine's Liquor Store. Trace address of Levine's Liquor? But I don't... Do we know where... Oh wait, that's why it's highlighting my phone. So that I can go make a call and find out where the heck this liquor store actually is located at. Gotcha. Oh, snap. Just looked at the time. Sorry. Phelps, back uh, this is going to run over a little bit. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor. Closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. Cool. So, let's go there. Oh, and uh, guess what, Rusty? You're driving. Can you drive to this one? You read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. Spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country over the food came. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? Sadly, he has a point. Hoping this gives me a save point. Yes, it does. Excellent. What can oh I do man. For you? Okay, we're gonna... LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead. You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it here for today. Uh, we actually ran a little bit over time, which I apologize for, but at the same time, an interesting enough case, start to a case. Um, that one guy. Freaking necrophilia. Ugh. As if having just some random serial killer running around town isn't bad enough, but full on necrophilia? like. Anyways, let's see if I can put that out of my mind. Um, anyways, interesting case all the way around. Again, I'm not sure why it's constantly women that are getting murdered. It just seems kind of weird. But uh, I guess next time we'll be investigating this liquor store as well as the bar that they had mentioned as well but if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up help keep the youtube overlords happy and if you're looking forward to seeing what happens in the investigation next well you need to be subscribed to the channel that way you know when new videos get uploaded 
until so until next time thanks very much for watching hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and remember life does get rough sometimes so good luck have fun stay awesome i'll catch you in the next one